welcome beautiful people welcome back so as promised part two of our beautiful story on this incredible being this beautiful portrait of this incredible being those of you that haven't connected with the first part of the story maybe hop on over now and it'll give you the backstory um, to this wonderful experience so there I was and sat in Utacita felt very deeply the importance of meeting the land and meeting the journey with a deep sense of listening and also you know heart and meeting it with that conscious intent to kind of do this with every part of that 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 process being met so there I was kind of sat in Utacita I felt the permission um, from the land had been seeked it also had been met an answer had been given those of you that, that have watched the first part of the story will will know that um, and then I kind of wandered back on that Saturday night in the kind of partial rain walking out across the field across the land popped out through the hedge into the everyday and there I am wandering back on Saturday night and seeing you know people in their homes watching Saturday night TV it was a very surreal experience between those those worlds and thereafter I had um, a whole chain of um, experiences um, where dragonflies were were constantly turning up um, and two really really jump out at me and one was where myself and some dear friends um, very old friends I hadn't seen for <laughs> a very very long time we'd sat um, and spent um, the weekend on my dad's uh, woodland beautiful piece of woodland ash woodland or mixed woodland but where we were was in amongst these ash trees and we've been sitting around the fire sharing um, journeying and storytelling and um, we'd had this uh, little water humble little water on this this log stump and there was the bloat bowl sitting there that had been filled with mead and we left it sitting by the fire and then the intention was to just gently in in a very simple ritual is just gently pull the bloat bowl um, and those of you seen part one you'll know the story around this beautiful bloat bowl as well and um, as we went to on the last day which was a Sunday as we went to go to just kind of seal uh, a weekend together um, and honour it and give thanks for it um, there was this dragonfly sitting there on this bloat bowl and sitting there for ages you know for for around about 40 minutes half an hour um, it was a fair amount of time um, those of you that follow me on Instagram you scroll through you'll find a beautiful picture of um, that dragonfly and then I remember, you know, speaking to um, the incredible artist Sheila Rose uh, about that experience of the dragonfly and her saying, you know, dragonflies are really relevant in these times. You know, they, they have a way of moving through the layers and moving through all of what's happening. Um, and, and, and that kind of struck a deep chord for me. It was a very powerful, powerful message. And, and I was kind of sensing and feeling that there was some association to that and to these community, community rights that, you know, we can kind of get swallowed and engulfed in all that what's happening. But we kind of got to kind of, you know, navigate our way through those worlds and navigate our way um, through the unseen and also this sense of you know this incredible being you know just kind of standing on the edge of that hedgerow on May Eve 
you know, kind of showing itself, but then disappearing, you know, showing itself and dissolving. Um, and then, you know, I said to Julie, you know, would you, would you be able to kind of connect to this, this energy that I'm feeling um, and, and bring it to life in a portrait? And, and absolutely, absolutely did she. And it's only within the last week that um, I received this. But I'm going to now um, read to you the channel message that, that come through. That I scribbled down in um, my notepad that I'm now going to write up on into my journal in ink. Um, so it, it anchors it. But I've um, also put it in my blog that you'll find on my website, which is all the W's, shangad.com. If you then hop onto my blog, you'll read the full story there and you've also got the first part of this story on on youtube here but here's the message i hold the stories and the history of my kind of my people and in time i will share and teach you our stories yet see them as not being taught more as remembering we have lived beside you humans and humanity for thousands of years. It's time to remember, for this is the cycle of return. Dearest beloved Shane, you speak of moving from harm to healing and being woven back into the center. This is the lantern of light we hold for you. Our kind and yours once had a tangible, living, breathing relationship. We walked together. Shane, do you remember? On May Eve you remembered and I heard your call. I am here now and always have been. I've watched you in this life as a young boy and you knew then we were close. Your imagination was a bridge to that truth. Now we are both a little older. And I felt a smile and laugh when she said that. Together we weave the old stories into the fabric of now, inviting people to unlock the magic and beauty of our worlds. And once more we become kin and clan. Shane, share and teach. Above all else, live by the truths, the songs, the stories, and deeper still, live by your heart always. Bridge the worlds. I am Brenner. I am Brenner. Remember me, for I remember you. I hold all the stories and history of my people, of my kind. I am a record keeper. Remember me, for I remember you. <sighs> Beautiful. Um, and when I first saw this, Sheila was so kind to share it with me. Um, and pinged me over an email and said to me, she's done. And then uh, shared a picture and I remember sitting there and I, I just cried, you know, it was like I had remembered such an old and dear friend and uh, a part of me that um, had died and that was killed and lost, bound and drowned burnt and persecuted from my being and memory and I really felt that I felt the depth of remembering this 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 being um, and this remembering of a part of me that had, you know died that was killed and lost bound and drowned burnt and persecuted and it's it's you know it's incredible isn't it you know the experiences that we have over a lifetime you know I remember when I 
you know you'll find it um, on on the channel where I'm talking about you know which is real um, and and if you kind of look through my channel you'll find that video and um, I can remember around that time you know marked by a witch I think the video is called um, of having this experience in this unlocking and it isn't you know these times I think you know the wisdom that we have is not about learning that it's about remembering it you know it's it's about it being unlocked within us and I remember around that time going to visit a good friend of mine Matt some of you know him from Golden Glow and healing and, and I, I spent a weekend with him and his family um, he had moved up 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 north and, and spent this weekend done a little bit of Reiki healing and it was this feeling of being unbound you know I, he actually said that you know he shared this this experience and this, what he had felt and this feeling of being unbound you know I think you know who we are now we are timeless beings uh, we are so much more than what we see and you know, our stories and experiences and our wisdom are beyond just this life. You know, I think, as I said in the previous video, it's a ridiculous notion to think that, you know, what, what I do within this life is just learnt within this lifetime. I think that's a ridiculous notion. I think, you know, I've, I've had the gift, uh, and I use the word gift in a deep, respectful way, because it is something that's been bestowed upon me um, and I meet that with deep heart and radical truth and radical responsibility and radical compassion. Um, the, these, these gifts are bestowed upon us um, and it's about you know these times we're living in right now is remembering who we really 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 are. And these beings you know they, they unlock, show us, illuminate. You know, and she's a storyteller. And she's a storyteller of her people, of her kind. And um, next week I'm going to be sharing with you another message from Brenna um, that, that also unlocks the story of this owl that's sitting with her and you know, describes why this light is here and these colours are here. You know, it's a beautiful story. It's about gateways and doorways openings within the worlds and on that note very quickly i am looking to revive my old podcast i you know i kind of you know see youtube as being an incredible tool but i also um also it has niggles for me in the uh, direction that that it's heading and um I think that going forwards I'm going to revive my podcast and that will be where I'm going to weave a lot of stories and um, once I have got that um, brushed up because it's an old platform that I, I've used over the years once I've got that brushed up and brought back to life in a way that I feel really good about I will drop a video in as well, a very short one, just directing and signposting. Um, but you'll be able to find it via my website, which is all w's.shangad.com. I'm also going to put a link to Sheila um, and her incredible work within this video as well. And above all else, keep shining and um, keep remembering. Remember who you are. Um, you know. I do believe, you know, we reach deep down into the the earth and bring up those stories that are yearning to be remembered, retold, and in some ways relived. Um, until next time, keep shining. Lots of love, guys. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye, bye.